of their gap. I hear it all the time, Ashley, my gap is two fingers, my gap is one finger, my gap is 1.3 finger. Stop obsessing over the size of your gap. So what's more important than the size of your gap are two things. One, it's the tension that you have on that tissue. I'm gonna show you how to check that in just a second. The other thing is can you generate tension on that connective tissue when you need it? Can you approximate your rectus abdominis, those two six pack abs that get separated? Can you bring them together when you're deadlifting, when you're picking up your kid, when you're putting the groceries away? If you can, you have a functioning diastasis. If the tension is pretty good, you have a functioning diastasis. So worry less about the frickin' fingers, jazz hands, worry more about the function of your core. If you can generate that tension, you're in good shape. Where did this two finger rule come from? Since I've been struggling with my own belly, all I've heard is this two finger rule. If you've got a two finger gap, you have a cracked core. If you're smaller than that, you have an awesome core. But you're telling me that like a 2.5 finger gap or a three finger gap can't be functional? I don't think so. Since I've been working with this population of women, I've seen women with narrow gaps who have doming and can't generate that tension. And I've seen women with bigger gaps who can totally rock it, generate tension, and like pick up their Costco boxes like a boss. So it's time we start changing the dialogue around diastasis recti and what is healed or isn't healed. So I know you're probably wondering, hey Ashley, how many finger gap are you? We're not supposed to be talking about that that much, but I will answer your question. I'm like a two and a half, three. At rest, it might even be a little bit bigger than that. But I'll tell you what, in any exercise I do, pull-ups, push-ups, even a sit-up, <gasps> I can totally generate tension and prevent that doming. It took me years to get there, but I can absolutely do it. So, your goal is to gain function and health and vitality, and that's where we need to go. Couple measurements. I am gonna show you how to check the width, but again, I don't want you putting a terrible amount of weight in this. It is an important thing to know, but it doesn't make or break your diastasis recti. So first thing I want you to do is lay completely down, shoulders are down on the ground. Take your fingers and you're going to place them at your umbilicus, your belly button. Very gently lift your head only until you can feel those two side bellies come together and see the finger width there. And then take a measurement a couple inches below. Same idea. Lift up. Give it a feel. Down. Two inches above the belly button. Again, feel for it. So take note of where that's at. But the thing that's even more important is that tension. So your resting tension, go ahead and give it a feel on that linea alba, that connective tissue that runs down between. Does it feel hard and give you a bounce back or is it really smushy like jello? So you wanna just get an idea of what the tension is all the way up and down that abdomen. So you can see here by my belly button is where it has the least amount of tension. You know, again, lift that head up ever so slightly and it should generate a little bit more tension. Now, I want you to use your breath and feel for that tension. So inhale, exhale, engage, you're lifting the pelvic floor. And what's it feel like now? You can see, now I can't sink my fingers in because I've generated full tension on that tissue. And that's what we want. That is a functional diastasis. Okay. So really important when you're checking yourself what not to do. Many people get a false reading. They write me and they say, hey Ashley, I only have one finger width gap. But it's because they're measuring like this. When you do a crunch up and you lift your shoulders up off the ground, you're actually approximating those rectus bellies and you're not gonna get an accurate reading. So again, you just wanna lift ever so slightly until you can feel those two side bellies. So not this, this. 